So a lot of you guys know that in 2019, I was depressed, unmotivated, ate a lot of really bad food, uh, gained 20 pounds, struggled with facial swelling, which I'm still kind of dealing with, and just, it was a mess. 2019 was a mess. I definitely didn't thrive. My health probably was at an all-time low. And you know what, 2020, we're not doing a repeat of 2019. No, we're not. We're gonna get it together. We're gonna be thriving. We're gonna, we're gonna reach peak health in 2020. I'm putting it out there into the universe. I'm gonna reach peak health this year. And so are you. So are you. I believe in you. We can do this. So with that being said, I thought for today's video, I would share with you guys kind of like the technique that I've created for myself that has been really, really working for me because I had a lot of trial and error at like the last half of 2019 with trying to lose weight and I would lose it, then gain it, then lose it, then gain it, then lose it, then gain it. And that's just like really unmotivating that's the last thing somebody needs when they're trying to motivate themselves to lose weight when you see that you're not making the progress that you thought you were going to be making you know it's tough but i have outsmarted it and i am making progress consistently so i thought i would share with you guys everything that i've been doing quick disclaimer i just want to say that even though the angle of this video is weight loss the real focus is on eating right so that you don't overeat uh, essentially i just want to inspire you and give you some ideas of how you could be making better choices that will help you in your weight loss journey because i used to make a lot of bad choices a lot of bad choices and if i just would have had in my mind okay i could eat this or i could eat this i think the more you have those good choices in front of you the easier they become to make so lately for breakfast i've been really into smoothies and this week especially i've been very spoiled because daily harvest is sponsoring this video and they sent me a whole box of all of these amazing treats and i've just been living for it we have smoothies we have oat bowls we have harvest bowls mm, like a nice little savory treat and then we have my favorite, I think, <laughs> these little snack bites. And I just have to say, as somebody who is uh, quite a packaging snob, the Daily Harvest branding just really makes me happy. I just feel it's so cute, and I love how the ingredients are all simple and just there, written for you, clear as day. So nice. So I just put the contents of the cup into the blender and then I'm adding in a bit of oat milk. Just to make it nice and creamy, like a milkshake. Yes. This is a service that I really cannot imagine my life without anymore. Like that little drawer that I showed you guys in my freezer, that is my official daily harvest drawer that I plan on keeping filled forever. Like just last night I was in the bath and I was scrolling their Instagram and I was just seeing all of the different smoothies and all the different bowls and then also how people get creative with how they like change things like some people are making like they're taking their smoothies and they're turning it into ice cream and they're adding like toppings and it's like it's so fun i'm so inspired and just daily harvest thank you so much for sponsoring this video and if you guys would like to try it yourself they are offering my viewers a 25 dollars off promotion so all you have to do is use code kalel at checkout and you will receive 25 dollars off your first box and if you get it be sure to let me know what your favorite thing is Vinny, can you tell us how you stay such a skinny legend? Hmm? Can you give us your secrets? What's the secret, Reen? <laughs> oh so cute. He's so cute, I die. How are you so cute? my baby you're so pretty so throughout the video i thought i would also sprinkle in some random tips and tip number one i have is intermittent fasting 
I'm sure everyone in the world knows by now what intermittent fasting is, but just in case you don't, it is fasting every day for X amount of hours. Like for instance, I personally fast for 16 hours every single day. And what that means is I only eat from noon to 8 p.m. And then from 8 p.m. until noon, I give my body a nice long 16 hour break from eating food. And why this is beneficial is because, I mean, I could t I could make a whole video about this because I've read so many studies about the benefits of fasting. I've watched two documentaries on the benefits of fasting and it's pretty much just like scientifically sound how good it is for your body to have breaks from digesting food. Uh, and also it is good for weight loss for obvious reasons. You know, if you go to bed and you just ate something, like if you just had a snack, cookies, chips, whatever, while you were watching TV, obviously all of that energy is gonna be stored because you're not using it while you're sleeping. So it just really makes a lot of sense to only eat during the times that you're really, really active. And for me, I chose noon to 8 p.m. because when I first wake up, I usually wake up about nine. Um, for those first three hours, I am not hungry at all. Like I just, it's very easy for me to just not eat for the first three hours that I'm up. I don't know, it just feels effortless. What's difficult is not eating after 8 p.m. I usually probably stay up until about midnight or one and usually around 11, I start getting cravings for like sugar or like chips or like, mm, which leads me to my next tip. Throw it all away. I'm telling you, listen, I went back and forth with myself with this so many times. I kept telling myself, I can have self-control. I can have, you know, a bag of chips, maybe like a package of candy in my house and I can, be smart enough to not eat it all in one day. But then time and time again, you know, I would prove myself wrong. I don't have self-control. Most people don't have very good self-control. Get a trash bag, put it all in the trash bag. I know it's tragic, believe me. I didn't want to do this either, but I reached a breaking point and I was like, enough is enough. I'm weak, so I gotta get rid of all of it. And I filled up an entire trash bag with literally everything that makes me happy in life. <laughs> and I put it down the trash chute and I said, you know what? It feels, I'm sad, yes. But also it feels good because now I know tomorrow I'm not gonna feel disappointed in myself because it was this constant cycle of like uh, binge eating junk food and then being like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? I don't wanna do this anymore. And then doing it again crazy I actually I, I read a few articles on the science behind addiction and like what happens to you on a chemical level and it makes a lot of sense um, and it helped me I think just kind of realize how I needed to alter my environment so for part two of my breakfast I have this cute little jar of overnight oats that I made last night this has oatmeal oat milk chia seeds almonds and about six large frozen cherries. It's really, really, really good. So I just pop the lid off and then put this entire thing in the microwave for one minute. Making little jars of overnight oats like this is a really good tip for people who are trying to lose weight because it helps you have something that's in the fridge, that's really tasty, that's really filling, that won't spike your blood sugar, that you can literally start eating instantly. This was my problem with uh, when I put on weight, is I'm the kind of person that when I decide I wanna eat something, I want something right now. I don't wanna take 15 minutes to make something. I don't wanna, to, I don't wanna take five minutes to make something. I want something right now. So if I open the fridge and I see like, I don't know, a bag of Reese's peanut butter cups, I'm gonna grab Reese's peanut butter cups over choosing to make a bowl of oatmeal every single time. Maybe that's stupidity, <laughs> I don't know, but that's just how my brain works. So by having these little jars of oatmeal in the fridge, I sometimes will make like three or four at a time. Um, it just really helps you out. And I mean, you can just eat them right out of the fridge cold, but I personally love having something nice and warm in the morning. Also, 
these little jars are so so cute i found these at target they were really affordable like a dollar each pretty much and i love that i can just grab this if i have errands to run in the morning or something pop it in the microwave pop the lid back on take it with me in the car so for part one of my lunch i thought i would have one of these little harvest bowls i chose the one called broccoli and cheese it's not actually cheese i think this is vegan yeah it's made with nutritional yeast so it's cheese with a z let's see if you're curious this is what it looks like before being heated up so the sauce comes in like little cubes and then you have like veggies and seeds and it's just a nice quick easy little bite and actually i decided i'm going to take this to go because i'm going to go on a little walk right now so i just popped it back into z cup i'm just sitting out at the park enjoying my lunch or part one of my lunch i should make it clear that i don't really eat uh, meals for breakfast and lunch I eat more like snacks so I usually have like two small things for breakfast like the smoothie and the oatmeal and then for lunch I usually have three snacks just spread out um, so like this would be one and then I'm probably gonna have you know like some hummus and carrots and maybe like an orange or something but for dinner I can't resist I have to just have a big huge heaping plate to end my day so we'll do that in a bit but for now just finishing this up and another tip I want to say is how important it is to just keep moving throughout the day I know this is like the most basic advice I could ever give you but um, if you get like a little uh, Fitbit or a smartwatch or something that's helping track your movement I think it's really really helpful so I try to get 15,000 steps a day and once I started wearing this I just started becoming more conscious of how little <laughs> I was moving so things I would normally do sitting like reading a book or watching TV I now do walking so uh, normally I, I read every day for about 30 minutes and I would do it first thing in the morning I kind of either like lay in bed and read or lay on the sofa and read but now I literally go outside and I walk as I read and I actually feel like it really helps my mind work better like process the information more and I usually get about 3,000, 4,000 steps in just while reading my book. So that's <laughs> a really good tip. Also, um, to get steps in while watching TV, sometimes I'll just walk with my iPad, like just pacing around my living room, which seems a little crazy, but hey, I gotta get those steps in. And I feel really good. It's not even just about weight loss, it's about cardio is very very healthy it's something you know you need to get your blood flowing how much i was sitting in the past was so detrimental to my health and to my mindset i feel like the more active you are the more it helps improve your mental health so and i and i really truly believe that and i really have felt a difference during this time of the year there are two things that i really love that you can find when you go to the grocery store the first one is on the way into the grocery store, you might find some Girl Scout cookies. Those, unfortunately, are not part of my diet right now. <laughs> the second thing that you might find this time of year at the grocery store are these Sumo Mandarin Oranges. If you guys have never tried one of these, girl, you gotta go get one of these right now. Like, this is truly, I mean, it's definitely the work of GMO. <laughs> I mean, it's not organic. Um, but side note, you know, humans have been messing with natural selection when it comes to fruit, vegetables, farm animals uh, for for thousands and thousands of years. Like people all of a sudden are so up in arms about GMOs, but like we we don't started messing with that a long, long, long time ago. Okay, so you know what? Go ahead, give, give me one of these GMO oranges because this is amazing. So it's 6.30 and I'm about to actually start making dinner, but I'm a little hungry now, so I'm having some carrot chips and my favorite hummus of all time, you guys. This spinach artichoke hummus from Target, oh, so good. And the ingredients are so pure and so nice. I literally eat one of these every single week. It's so good. This, this combo to me is like better than a bag of chips now. So it's very... Um, you know, you want to find healthy things that you still feel excited about, you know, just because you're trying to be healthy doesn't mean you need to be miserable. You just have to kind of find new things that you love. 
If you're gonna follow my advice about breaking up your breakfast and your lunch into mini meals instead of having two big meals, I just wanna say that I don't have a set number of mini meals or snacks that I eat for my breakfast and lunch. I truly just listen to my body and I eat whenever I'm hungry. If I have a day where I'm really hungry and I wanna eat, you know, three snacks for breakfast and five snacks for lunch, I will. You know, I don't limit myself because I know what I'm eating is not, uh, <laughs> like if I were eating candy bars or chips or Subway sandwiches or like things that I knew were calorie dense, I would be concerned. But I know all the things that I'm eating are pretty light in calories. They have high fiber. They're good for me. So I don't limit myself. I just really wanted to stress that point that I this is not a video um, promoting calorie restriction. It's not, okay? I want you to eat as much as you want to eat. It's just what you eat that makes the difference. I just got started with dinner. I put a little sweet potato in there. And now, let's get some veggies going. You see, I started buying just these big bags of veggies that are already washed, ready to go, and it really makes your life so much easier. I know it's like laziness at its finest, like I can't cut up a freaking stalk of broccoli, but no, you know what, I can't. There is a 10% chance that I will consume more broccoli if it is already clean and cut up and I can just pour it in a damn pot, you feel me? I like to keep my dinner pretty damn basic, so tonight I'm just doing chicken breast, broccoli, sweet potato which is in there and then I'm going to top this with a little bit of avocado oil I always say a little bit and it just comes pouring out let's see if I can do it today it needs like a little spout on it okay that's enough and then I top it with my favorite thing in the entire world if you guys have been following me for a few years you know that this is my personal crack like I truly love this it's all natural salt and spices, but it truly tastes like the um, packet that comes in chicken ramen noodles. That's the best way to explain it. It's so, so, so good. It makes everything taste good. And then I'm also going to put some mushrooms on top. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. Then I just put the lid on and it goes in here for about 20 minutes. So I just mashed up my sweet potato, broccoli, I have my chicken and my mushrooms on a bed of greens. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of this Caesar dressing on top of the chicken. So I'm making like a creamy, oh, that was a little bit too much, but that's okay. Treat yourself. Um, yeah, this is kind of like a creamy mushroom chicken and then it's just on a bed of greens. It's really good. Then for dessert, I'm thinking these little bites. These ones are my favorite because they literally taste like cookie dough, but these are the ingredients. Like it's the world's most healthiest cookie dough ever. You can see I've already ate most of them, but, and I just let them thaw out for maybe about five minutes before eating it. And it's like a yummy, healthy cookie dough. Patiently waiting for my cookie dough to get <laughs> soft enough. But um, thanks so much for hanging out today, guys. And I hope this video brought you some sort of inspiration. Um, again, I was a little nervous to make this video because I know of the like, it's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people and I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or make anyone feel less than or cause any discomfort of any kind. Just please know that's not my intention, but also at the same time, people, uh, when, mm, <laughs> I'm so scared to talk about this, can you tell? I just feel like when you reach a point and you don't feel healthy, you don't feel good in your own skin, I know what that feels like. Even though people keep trying to kind of discredit my struggle because I was still skinny or whatever. You know, I gained 20 pounds. It felt like a lot for me since I have lost almost all of that 20 pounds. So I'm not really trying to lose a lot of weight at this point, but I was a few months ago and now I'm finally getting to a place where I feel really good about myself again. So I wanted to share how I got here. 
Um, so please don't take this video as me being like, I'm still trying to lose like 10 pounds and become super, super, super skinny, which if I wanted to, that's my choice, but I'm not, I, I don't. I'm actually really happy with the weight that I'm at right now. So I don't know, I don't know if this is making any sense, but I just hope this video didn't send a bad message. I hope that it will inspire people to eat better and wherever you're at in your weight loss journey, just know that it's gonna be okay and that it's probably not as bad as you think it is. I feel like we all like look at ourselves and we think it's so much worse than it really is. It's just, ugh, I know, life in 2020, am I right? It's just like, there's too much pressure. Too much pressure and too much temptation. That's the real issue, right? Um, anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you really soon. Bye.